Hi, and in today's Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a PDF file from a collection of images in a folder. And this is just a really easy way to email your images to a client so they can just have a look at them. Generally, they're much more low resolution, and that's for two reasons. One is so that your clients won't use them, but also it means that you can email it without worrying about the size of file. So I've just opened up Photoshop here. I'm going to go up to File, down to Automate, and then down to PDF Presentation. When this dialog box comes up, I'm going to go to Browse, then select the file of choice. So here we have all my images. I'm just going to select all of my images, and then I'm going to go down and select Open. Now you can sort them out by name, so if you've numbered them, and it's a good idea that if you do want them in a particular order, that you do number them, one, two, however many images you've got, and then you can just select sort by name, and then you have all of your images in numeric order. I'm going to want mine to be a multi-page document. I want my background to be white, but you can select from any of these. Happy with my font size. And then if I want to put any of these details in, author titles, then I can do. But for this demonstration, I don't need to. Then I'm going to click Save. Then I'm going to title my file. Then I'm going to select my desktop and have it saved to that destination. And then go ahead and click Save. Now this is the really important bit here, depending on the quality of your PDF file. So this top one refers to how much quality you'd like Photoshop to retain in your file. Now, if I was going to email this, then I'm going to choose smallest file size. But obviously, if you want it to be a high quality print, so you're going to use it for a printers, or you'd like somebody to have that high quality file, then you can select this one here. If I go to smallest file size, then I'm just going to remain on none and compatibility, I'm just going to select the default. I'm going to optimize mine for fast web preview and then I'm just going to embed the page thumbnails. You've got a number of different options here as well where you can compress that file further. So at the moment you can see the compression will be to JPEG and the image quality will be low. Once you're happy with your settings, go ahead and press Save PDF. As you can see, Photoshop will go through each different image, and then once it's finished, it will return back to the home page. So if I just close this down, and then just bring this in to show you, this is my desktop file here. It's produced this file. And if I just double click on it, this is the PDF file that's being produced. Now if I just pop over here and use this arrow here and go up to this icon here, you can see all my images sitting in the menu bar to the left hand side. And as I scroll through, you can see they're all in that particular order. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.